Alaska will use a series of four different drugs to put more to death. He killed two Omaha cab drivers in 1979 and has said he wants to die. Reporter Megan Hahn has more on the events that will lead up to Moore's final moments. She's here now with more. Megan. According to Nebraska protocol, Carrie Dean Moore will receive a four drug combination that's never been previously used in an execution. 10 a.m. Tuesday, convicted death row inmate Carrie Dean Moore is scheduled to die by lethal injection inside the walls of this execution chamber at the state penitentiary. Moore will have his arms and legs strapped to an IV table where a lethal cocktail of four drugs will be pumped into his veins. The drugs are, it's essentially Valium is the first drug, fentanyl, which is an opioid, is the second drug, there's a paralytic that's the third drug, and the fourth drug is potassium chloride, which stops the heart. According to state protocol, the IV team leader will insert primary and backup IVs and set up a heart monitor. The lethal injection process will then begin. Moore's is the first time fentanyl will be used as a pain reliever in the execution process. The Nebraska protocol is essentially using fentanyl to try to serve as the anesthetic here, but fentanyl is not an anesthetic, so it's not clear it can protect the inmate from the agonizing pain caused by the potassium chloride. The drug cocktail includes dosages of diazepam, a sedative, fentanyl, a pain reliever, sister curium, a paralytic to stop the inmate's breathing, and potassium chloride to stop the heart. The lethal injection process is expected to last less than 10 minutes unless the execution is botched. A botched execution would happen if the vein is missed or drugs flow into the inmate's muscles. Prior to the execution, Moore will be taken from his cell at the Tecumseh prison to the state penitentiary in Lincoln, where he'll be placed under a suicide watch. Moore will receive extra time for visitation with family and friends and will eat his final meal from the prison cafeteria's menu. The state has carried out 37 executions. The last execution in the state's history was carried out by electric chair. Now, we have reached out to the public information officer for the Department of Corrections to speak to an official on the execution procedure. They did not respond to our request. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now.